this the other day. Uh, the books of the Bible, when it was written, right? And I'm like, we, you showed that the other day. Yes, yes, yes. But I want to make a point from here. I want you to look at something. I want you to take a, take a look at just the first couple of books. Because I know Hebrew Israelites will try to make an argument. Well, there was nothing out. There was nothing out. Oh, yes, it was. See, what they failed to realize, family, while Jesus was doing what Jesus was doing, listen, the apostles around him, even though if they, they were still trying to understand stuff, but guess what? They were taking mental notes. Yo. They were mm -hmm. taking, brother, am I lying, Pastor Sean? Let, hey, yeah, here's something else to uh, think about. It, here, here, you, what you got right there in the list of the dates. Yes, sir. If, if, if this is how this is how th things work, you got a date. You got a, a person like Ignatius mm -hmm. is quoting scripture, and he's quoting it in one ten A.D. Amen. Scripture, and he's calling certain letters scripture, and he's explaining stuff. Well, guess what? That must mean he had a source here that we may not have now, but we know that it dates before him. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Teach, Brother Brian. Teach. Yes, sir. One of the biggest problems I think they miss is the fact is that we have these early church writers quoting the New Testament as scripture. Yes. Yes, absolutely. You are 100% correct. Listen, family, look at the, just look at the first couple, right? Let me, let me bring it back down. I just want to right here. I'm going to cut. I, look, look at the first four that was already out. You got James and you got Paul's writing Galatians, right? But look what else comes out. We already got two gospels already out. Mark and Matthew is already out. So it's not it's not a uh, fictitious or fiction for the Didache to be circulating at this time. Just with these four right here is enough. Even if you just took Galatians and Mark by itself, that's enough. If you took Matthew and James, that's enough. Hold on. If you do Mark and Matthew, that's enough. That's the gospel revolving completely around Jesus. Because see, in Mark, he focused on Jesus being the son of God. Matthew is focusing, I forgot what is, um, what's he mostly focused on? Um, kingship, Abraham. There you go. So you got the son of God, and you got kingship. Paul goes into what, how we are no longer under the law. What Jesus set us free from. James is focused on don't be respecter of persons. Don't say it. Do it. I, I mean, just with these four books, baby. Right here. Right here. You can walk away with the Bible and still got the Tanakh. Come on, baby. Right there, right there. So it is not impossible for this early document called the Didache to be already circulating amongst the Christian believers. Oh, God is so good. Thank you, Lord, for your wisdom. Listen, family, that's why I said Hebrew Israelites, they don't know history. Hebrew Israelites don't know what they're talking about. Hebrew Israelites, when they say that they're doing, doing research, they did a doggone day of research. They searched something pseudo, but they didn't search facts, real historical facts, right? And a lot of people, new believers, are picking up on it. Oh, give God thanks, uh, saints of God. Give God thanks, early season saints, Give God thanks for this moment. Listen, this is important information. Listen, they would love to do away with this. But guess what? Just with this on its own, it kills their whole argument. It shows them to be a flat out lie. Now, hold on. The Didache is, uh, is said to be out between 50 and possibly 80 AD. 
Well, let's, let's push it in. Let's be fair. Let's go in between. Let's say 66, right? Let's say, or oh, I don't like 66. So let's, let's say 65 or 60, 60, um, 67 right there. Okay. You got an even and an odd number, 67, right? Look how many books would have been out. Look how many, look, Paul, look at Paul. 1 Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians, 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, Romans. Paul is writing like crazy. Now, remember, I just pushed it into 67 AD. Luke is out. His gospel is out, 60 to 61 AD. Luke is out. Hold on. Ephesians, Paul is writing again. Philippians, Paul is writing again. Philemon, Paul is writing again. Colossians, Paul is writing again. 62 AD Acts. Yep. Here's something else to think about, so share. Mm -hmm. You realize Paul in 1 Corinthians, what date is that? 1 Corinthians 55 AD. Okay, uh, Paul, uh, let's see if I can find it. Paul is actually quoting in Corinthians, Luke. He quotes uh, quotes in, uh, in uh, uh, Luke. So that means Luke might be earlier than 60 yeah. AD. Well, Luke, uh, Luke was written written about the same time or similar to uh, to uh, the Corinthians because Paul, remember we read that about how Paul said, my gospel. In other words, the gospel he had was the gospel Luke had wrote. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, remember, mm -hmm. he quotes in Corinthians. I don't remember exactly the, what it is, but he actually quotes. Uh, he quotes what Jesus says, and he says, um, you know, Basically, he goes down through that. The big everybody wants to talk about. But Paul is saying that, you know, uh, you know, he's giving his own opinion. Mm -hmm. No, Paul is quoting what Jesus had said. And when he comes to that point, he's like, the Lord never made uh, distinguish anything in, you know, the, the, the gospel of Luke or whatever he was reading at that time. That's what it mm -hmm. means. Mm -hmm. He says, hey, the Lord Jesus never said anything about this. But here's my my holy that's Ghost first timothy fire. chapter 5 verse 18 that paul is quoting uh apostle luke yep right here you're talking about whether well, let the elders who rule well be consi considered worthy of a double honor especially who those who labor in preaching and teaching the scripture says you shall not muzzle an ox while it's treading out grain to the labor deserves is to be paid mm. that's a He's quoting Luca, the Gospel of Luca was at 10 7. That's what he's quoting. So, wait a minute. And he called Luke's writing scripture. Exactly. And hold on. Peter calls Paul's writing scripture. So, wait a minute. Luke and Paul, they neck and neck. You know why? You know why I'm saying that? It's because Luke is with the other apostles and he's recording. He's taking Acta Deuteronomy. Remember, we spoke about that when Brother Kevin G, uh, uh, Kevin yep. G was up here. Acta Deuteronomy, which means what? To report. So yep. guess what? Paul and Luke is neck and neck. They write like crazy. They write yep. like crazy. And hold on. Who is record? Who is Mark writing for? Peter. Peter. Oh God, listen. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? And you know what's so crazy? The re the you know they say in Mark seven, there's a print print a parentheses at the end of a uh, of of uh, Acts, and they huh. say, well, you know, it wasn't in the original manuscript, it wasn't in the manuscript. No, actually, Mark went back after he had what Luke had wrote about what happened. In Acts, Peter says, hey, this makes sense because he says, hey, Mark, and right here, put this in parentheses, showing that this was something because the book of Acts was written. I now understand what Mark 7 meant. That's what it means. That's right. 